Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is Brittany and the time right now is so freaking late in the day that I cannot even believe that I am picking up a camera but it is Vlogmas, so in the spirit of vlogging, here I am, and I am so excited to be doing another video with you guys, but I have a little bit of an announcement to make. So, I am a new YouTuber, like, fairly new. This is my first year doing this YouTube deal and this is my first time ever doing Vlogmas. I had no idea how overwhelming it would be to not plan ahead, film ahead, edit ahead, and do these videos seriously on a daily basis. I mean filming and then editing until like midnight with two kids and like a husband and a whole household to run i mean i guess you can understand like the intensity of it i love doing these videos for you guys but i've decided to make a little modification in the way that i'm going to be posting instead of doing a vlog every single day because let's face it my life is not that interesting i'm just a normal mama trying to be out here inspiring other mamas but my life is not that interesting and i don't do that many fun things and of course i have my ups and downs during the week my arms are getting tired I'm gonna put you guys down because I'm also out of shape and that's kind of sad but hold on figure out how I'm gonna put you guys up here okay yeah so anyways what I was gonna say is is that I think I'm going to change it up just a little bit I think that I have decided to instead of doing seven videos a week like every single day for like the next 20 some odd days for the rest of vlogmas i am just going to commit to three videos a week now i don't know if those are going to be like vlog style videos or sit down videos or like what i eat in a day videos i'm definitely going to continue to do my one to eat what i eat in a day videos but i'm not going to give you guys like the boring vlogs every single day and if I do give you an extra vlog, it's probably not going to be like my typical like 15 minute, 20 minute video. It's just going to be like something super quick and easy, like 8 to 10 minutes, like whatever we're doing that day or whatever interesting. And it's probably going to surround some kind of food because that's just who I am as a person. Like I'm consistently eating and cleaning and taking care of these kids. Like that's the only three things I do in my life that's like worth posting at all. So it'll probably revolve around one of those three things, <laughs> two of those three things max. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that, that that is my idea. I think I'm going to be shifting it up for the rest of Vlogmas just so that I don't get like the YouTube burnout. I'm really excited to end this year super strong. I've made a lot of cool friends on here. I'm so appreciative that you guys keep clicking on these videos and watching them and giving me positive feedback. So yeah, I had like a crazy, crazy day today. Um, I did not, I brought my camera with me like with every intention of vlogging and I realized that I left my memory card in the computer. That's like a vlogger 101 mistake. Like don't leave the memory card because your camera doesn't work without it. Um, so yeah, there was that and then I had like this really crazy story happen with my son and his bottle. If you're not following me on Instagram, make sure that you are doing that. I'll have that link right here for you guys, but please make sure you're following me on Instagram so that you don't miss my daily stories because you'll hear all about my life's craziness in real time as it's happening <laughs> instead of when these videos come out. But I give my son a bottle to feed and on Wednesdays we go to gymnastics. So today's Wednesday, obviously. We went to gymnastics this morning and I had packed a bottle of milk because I exclusively pump now and um, I still have to supplement him with donor breast milk but I had packed a bottle of milk that I was going to feed him and then I had an extra bottle of milk for like after because gymnastics is like 45 minutes away. We're there for an hour and then usually we'll go to like Costco or Walmart or something after if we have to and then it's a 45 minute drive home. So there should be at least one other feeding in between that time. So I went to go and feed him his bottle after gymnastics, the one that I had packed with me, and realized he drank it so fast, and I was so confused. I was like, okay. But then I lifted up the bottle and noticed that his entire belly and like his bib and everything was soaking wet. And we have these Tommy Tippy bottles here, and the Tommy Tippy bottles, let me show you. They have they have this little component piece that goes in there like this. It looks like this and it's got this little end tube thing on it and this is how 
this is what you put inside of the bottle here. So here's the bottle and you put this little thing on the inside of it like that, right? Well, I had completely forgotten this piece. So I just had the freaking bottle like this. I don't even know why I put this together like this or how I forgot it. I've never done this before. Like, and we've, I mean, he's four months old, so we've never done, I've never done this before where I've forgotten that inner piece of the bottle, but all of the milk leaks out of the side here. So he was getting some milk out of the nipple, but then a lot of it was leaking out of the side. So he was getting soaked. He was still hungry because obviously I had lost a lot of the milk. So I had another six ounce bottle. So I poured the bot, the milk that I had and I poured it inside this bottle and I was like, I'm just going to put it inside the sleeve and my diaper bag that's made for bottles, you know, so it'll be held upright so it won't fall over and spill or whatever, make a mess. And I'm going to back you up a little bit. And I will feed him when we get to Costco because I'm going to take him out and like change him out of his clothes and everything. Mind you, all of this happened in the parking lot at gymnastics. Like it was a mayhem. So I was like, okay, we're just gonna do this inside in a dry place where it's warm inside of Costco. So we get to Costco and I put the diaper bag on my back. I get both the kids out, put them in the cart, in the cart and like walk into Costco. Mind you, there was six ounces in the bottle when I put it in the diaper bag. I get out in the bathroom the bottle there's only two ounces so four ounces of milk has spilled into my diaper bag and it's everywhere i mean all of my diapers are soaked my spare clothes are soaked all of the burp cloths everything soaked because i don't know um how my diaper bag is comprised it's like it's got a sleeve but for some reason it like seeped over i don't really know what happened or how it happened but for some reason milk was all on the bottom of the diaper bag so clearly it had gotten thrown about some way i have no clue but it was mayhem and i was so worried because now i was down to two ounces of milk like and i knew that my baby was going to be hungry and i carry like an emergency box of formula in my car like just in case something like this ever happens but he hasn't had formula yet in the four months he's been with us and so i was really nervous to do that and then i realized i had in the back seat of my car my willow breast pump so Yay for Willow. So I just popped on my Willow and I was able to pump three and a half ounces, which held him over until we got here. I went to Walmart and I bought a Dr. Brown bottle because this was obviously useless. So I had the pumped milk. I went to Walmart. I bought a Dr. Brown bottle and a onesie so I could change him into. I fed him. I pumped with the, or I pumped with the willow and then I fed him all the meanwhile, I'm like trying to like entertain Nova cause she's losing her stuff in the back seat. Like she's ready to get out, you know? And yeah, so it's just been a pill of a day, a pill of a day. So I tell you that super long story. Well, I'm already like eight minutes in. Of course I am. I tell you that super long story just to tell you it's been a day. It's been a doozy of a day. So my house is a wreck. Let me show you. This is the chaos that is decorating for Christmas. My house is a complete disaster right now. My kitchen has never looked worse. The floors are disgusting. And I realized that I really need to do like a thorough deep clean in here. So that's what I'm going to do. So I hope that you guys are into just watching me clean and organize my house because that's pretty much what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, let's get this party started. It is three... It's 3.20 right now, and I'm definitely going to have some of my go-go juice because your girl needs it. So I'm going to hook myself up with a scoop of that, and while my kids are watching Sing over there, I am going to get this house in order. And I'm also going to complete some laundry because... There's laundry over there and yeah, get all this stuff put away, get all these diapers put away, get the laundry like washed and taken care of. You guys, this is going to be, this is going to be a clean with me vlog, okay? So like, let's get ready to clean the kitchen, let's get ready to straighten up the laundry, let's get ready to get my house back in order and yeah, you guys will see how I clean. Okay, so I wanted to start this video off Okay, so I wanted to start off today's cleaning session with adding a few drops of essential oil to my diffuser. This is Valor from Young Living, and no, I'm not a Young Living rep, but 
Valor is supposed to increase positive thoughts and give you uplifting energy when it's diffused and boy did it do that. It smelled amazing and I would definitely recommend that you check it out if you are into diffusing oils. So I'm just gonna start off by getting everything kind of cleared out of the way. I like to start off with as much clear surface as possible and then I'm going to run a load of laundry because that's what's going to take the longest. So I'm just gonna make sure that I get things in the wash and switched over to the dryer just to kind of give myself like a fresh start with everything. And I just use the regular laundry pods from Costco and don't judge me with how I drop my fabric softener in there. That's what works for me, you guys. Do you guys have a method for when you're emptying out your dishwasher? Because I feel like I have like this crazy thing where I will stack all of the clean dishes up right on top of the dishwasher, put all of the pots and pans away, then work my way through my Tupperwares and things like that. And then once I load my dishwasher up with all the dirty dishes, then I'll put my dishes away. I don't know if that sounds crazy or what, but that is literally just what I do. And I think it's so funny that I have my little routine like that. It really bothers me when my husband puts dishes away because he doesn't do it like I do, of course. Then I'm just going to move on to washing and sanitizing my bottle and pump parts. I do this twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening time, and I do try and keep my pump parts in the fridge between use, um, even if I wash them out after the fact because I don't sanitize them, I will go ahead and wash them and put them in the fridge. And I just use this Avent bottle sanitizer. If I can find it, I'll have it linked down below, but I got this from my mother-in-law like three years ago and it still works great, we love it. And this is what we use. It's really nice because I don't have to worry about boiling water and like leaving pump parts in there and bottle parts and all that stuff. And it's just super quick and easy. If you guys hear my little baby in the background, he's sitting here while I do this voiceover. So I'm sorry for all the cooing during your cleaning <laughs> video. So I'd like to add that I am still using my Willow breast pump and I mostly use this when I'm out on the go um, because I do prefer my Spectra over the Willow just because I am a person with a very low supply and my breasts usually respond well to breast compressions. But I still love my Willow breast pump and I will still use it and the pumping parts are pretty easy to clean. It comes apart really easily and it's really easy to assemble and sanitize. So just showing you guys how I clean the Willow here. What I know now, I wouldn't have said what I said. I took the long road, thought I'd be better on my own. Sometimes what's right is wrong instead. Cause I was too young. This method spray and wipe down all of my counter surfaces. I'm going to make sure that I'm getting behind everything, like all of my little fixtures that I have on the counters, and wipe behind everything really well and make sure that I'm getting everything really good. Is anybody excited for the New Year deep clean? I've decided that after Christmas, when I'm taking down my decorations, I'm going to really give my house a nice, thorough clean. I can't believe that in January I'll have lived here for an entire year, but it is definitely time for me to take out the stove and clean everything behind there and anything that's fallen down the side, clean out the fridge, wipe down all my baseboards, clean out closets, wash windows. I'm so excited to do that. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you guys do at your house as well. I know that it's recommended you to do it at least twice a year and I'm so ashamed to admit that I had not done that this year because I was super pregnant in June and just did not feel up to the task at all but now I'm ready to get my life and I'm so excited to clean everything the way that you're supposed to. Uh, 
Christmas kind of exploded in my house, so I have all of my Christmas decor just like kind of hanging out. This is all the extra stuff that I'm planning on using to decorate our bedroom with or that's gonna go back into storage, so I'm just getting this all taken care of. I'm putting it all in a trash bag just to get it out of my dining room area because I'm sick of looking at it. So I'm putting it all in one space and then I'm going to put it in my garage for now until I actually get the decorating in my room done. And Christmas is literally in like two and a half weeks, so I need to get on that. I just love when my house is nice and clean, the counters are all clean and wiped down, the diffuser's going, everything smells really nice, the dishes are done. It just really makes me feel nice and peaceful and at home and I love it. I'm just gonna finish up some laundry here and switch out the rest of those clothes and I'm going to put everything back in the dryer and do another load in the wash here. Attention, girl, I know you, know you, but you're everything I want in life. Yeah. We're fighting danger like kung fu. kung fu. The love I feel is deep inside. The others don't matter. matter. It's honestly us against the world. We're the perfect team. Look at all that dust, you guys. I'm ashamed. That's literally just from like a few days of decorating a lot of it is like glitter and dust and like pine nettles from the tree and stuff like that it's just so gross to me I'm so glad to get all this stuff up and like be able to walk around barefoot and not feel like I have to like I don't know wipe things off the bottom of my foot I absolutely hate that when I'm walking on hardwood floors and there's just like stuff stuck to my feet so I'm really happy to get this all clean else can love you better. better I'm here just to treat you right You're the reason I'm alive yeah. You're the only pain I one purchase I'm really happy about that I made last year on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, I can't exactly remember, but I know that I got this on a really good deal, was my vacuum cleaner. And this vacuum cleaner is still life. I still love it. It is the Dyson V8 Shark and I am, I'm sorry, it's the Dyson V8 Animal, and I absolutely love this vacuum. It's just so easy and portable, especially with having two stories, and I just feel like it cleans everything so nice. I use it to clean out my car, everything. It's just the best. <laughs> That I knew from the start, you my bunny, I'm your clock From now to eternity, I give you all my heart We are meant to be, it's clear to see My love is bigger than I thought I got everything I want when I hold you with my arm Now there's no matter my love and my pleasure The key to my treasure, what I was the weather Day up and now with you till I die How many times for you, I'ma try Want you to notice the one and I know this Perfect soulmate, I wanna show my best friend She saved my life, my happy end in hard times so the next thing that I'm gonna do is just put away some of that laundry. This is all of the bedding that I washed from my daughter's room. Um, we are trying to potty train overnight. She's already potty trained, but she still wears a pull-up at nighttime and during nap time. So we're working right now of getting her out of the pull-ups, but you know what that means, a lot of laundry to wash and a lot of bedding to wash. So I'm just gonna fold all this up and put this away, and then I'm going to end this video by mopping my floors with my Swiffer Wet Jet. So yes, I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. If y'all really like cleaning content videos for me, please leave those 
leave that down in the comments for me so that I can make sure to record more of these videos. I love cleaning my house. That's pretty much what I spend a lot of my free time doing is cleaning and organizing. And I would definitely love to share more content like that with you guys if that's something that you would be interested in. And as always, thanks so much for clicking on this video today, guys. I hope that y'all loved it. If you did, please make sure that you give me a like and share this video for me. Let me know down below what else y'all would like to see from me for Vlogmas. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.